So now in this video I just want to quickly take a look at a new battery pack that I got. So I've been discharging it for a while, 5 volts, usually higher current. This fan, I know it's probably going to sound really bad on camera. It doesn't sound too bad in person. It sounds like a buzzing uh, fan, but not high pitched or anything. On camera it's probably high pitched. So when it's on full, we're getting about 1 amp. And I've been running it for uh, probably close to 8 hours. That's, that's probably about right. So at uh, one amp that's showing you the amount of current over time so if you run one amp for an hour that'll say one two amp or uh, one amp I mean for two hours that'll say two or you could do two amps for one hour that would also say two so it's adding up the amount of current that's flowing plus the amount of time and uh, normally when it comes to battery packs that'll be in milliamp hours so this is amp hours so for milliamp hours, it'd be 7,570. So they claim 30,000 milliamp hours. And uh, by the way, I'm powering this fan. These are pretty nice fans. Also, this fan, it has a couple batteries. I took them out for this testing, but uh, that's where you charge it. And uh, there's a red and a blue light, I think, in there. It kind of looks purple, purple if you look in the right area. But you can also use it as a backup uh, power supply, the two batteries in there. And uh, but I took those batteries out. So in any case, if we really wanted to, we could power this with the battery pack, and then have the batteries in there. If this dies, it keeps going until we plug in another one. But in any case, we're monitoring the uh, voltage and the current. So now, I just said that they claim 30,000 milliamp hours. So what that should mean is that we should be able to once I put this up to one amp. It should run for, now it looks a little lower, there you go. Uh, it should run for about 30 hours, in this case a little bit more. But I don't think this unit here counts the power that's being used to power the unit. I think it's just looking at what the load is getting. And uh, so I think this may come out a little bit lower. Plus that 30,000 milliamp hours, I have this other cord because we can power two things. So I think actually the phone is probably better for that one. And uh, But my phone doesn't seem to mind this, uh, this I don't think. But uh, when I charge in the phone, there you go, I just charged her in. And uh, you'll see the current go up right there. So it went up and it's bouncing around for whatever reason. So I never looked at what exactly my phone does while it's charging. But there you can see it went up. So you can power two things and it will add them both up. Now the uh, output of course is 5 volts as you can see there and if you up the load though it's not uh, too surprising the voltage drops down like that a little bit you know but uh, it holds it uh, pretty good and I think this may be a 3 amp maybe that one's a 3 amp that's a 2 amp I don't know uh, you'd have to look at the details but in uh, any case it has a USB-C plug that was the main thing and it didn't come with any cables or anything it just has a little a tiny booklet one little sheet folded in thirds and it's a, a thin narrow one but in any case they have good info on there but it has the uh, uh, micro USB and another I think micro uh, I think it might be called lightning or something there's like little lightning symbols but in any case I didn't read the details too much I wasn't too worried about that I did fully charge it to four bars though and now we are at three so it dropped to three I looked at it at one point it was pretty much five five right there so five thousand milla amp hours five amp hours and when I came back it was six point eight so a little while ago and it had dropped from uh, four lights to three lights and so I think we're probably definitely not going to get uh, uh, close to thirty right there uh, 30 amp hours or 30,000 milliamp hours however you want to convert it but I'm pretty sure that first off this unit is measuring it at 5 volts the battery in here is probably a lithium based battery so the battery inside of here might actually provide 30,000 milliamp hours it may be able to provide 1 amp for 30 hours or 2 amps for 15 hours half an amp for 60 hours and uh, that's what 30,000 uh, milliamp hours means and that takes that current though and steps up the voltage 
So it probably starts at 4.2 volts and then drops to 3 volts over time while it's providing that current. There's a, a circuit on here that steps up the voltage. The way it does that, it takes some of the uh, current that the uh, battery is given and it turns it into voltage, just like you can turn voltage into current in uh, different ways. So it's stepping up the voltage, but to do that it has to use up some of the current. Plus, there, the, uh, in, the circuit tree needs some power, so it's going to drain some of that battery power just to run the circuit tree. And then there's going to be inefficiencies. So uh, you could mathematically see how it would convert perfectly. You know, if the more extra voltage you need, the more current it uses. It's pretty straightforward. But uh, there's going to be losses. It, it doesn't work perfectly, that step up. And also, these LEDs, they use a bit of power. I don't think they're adding that up. I think they're just looking at the power that the load is using. So I think it's uh, better for measuring load. Of course I don't know all these things perfectly. I'm just going over this quickly. So, in any case, what we can do is uh, later on I'll see how much we finally get before this thing cuts out and then we can convert that from uh, 3.6 volts which is the average of 4.2 and 3 and then we can see how much that should be for 5 volts when you take some of that current from the battery and convert it to voltage how much we could expect to lose just from stepping up the voltage and uh, I don't know how much loss we have from this or whatnot but uh, in any case we uh, if this did change at 6 exactly and each one of these dots goes out when you're a fourth of the way so if that's 100 percent 75 50 and then when that finally goes out or well it's lit 25 and when it finally goes out if that's zero if that's actually what it means I don't always find that usually I find the last dot means it's time to stop using it you don't have much left but in any case if that's what it means and it changed at 6 then we can expect this to go to 6 12 18 24 uh, 24,000 milliamp hours which may actually be pretty close for taking a lithium battery the, the uh, total amount of current that it provides and then stepping up the voltage that current you lose from there that, that may actually be close so I don't know for sure but uh, this is the basic uh, testing procedure for seeing how much energy you are getting out of this you can also look at the power that's being provided so right now that is one watt hour it's uh, one watt so it is uh, five volts five volts at about a, a fourth or about a fifth I mean of an amp right there so five volts one fifth that's one not surprising if we get this up to about one amp so it's a little bit lower but we're gonna see basically five times one so it's going to be about 5 watts, a little bit less, of course, because both those numbers were a little bit below 5 and 1. But uh, you can get a lot of good info from uh, this unit, and you just press the button. I think we can clear this out if we hold it down, plus, sorry, that probably sounds horrible, plus, I think uh, if you unplug the load and uh, the power supply, and then plug the power supply back in, and I think it still shows the milliamp hours, but you start another load. I think it clears out. I don't remember exactly, but uh, in any case, that's uh, that's about it for this video. I bought this mostly. I have other battery packs because this was uh, about thirty-six dollars. So I tried to buy these when they're about one dollar for every uh, milliamp hour they claim. So. This one I pay a little bit more though because it has USB on there and the reviews were not uh, too bad. That's another thing that I like about Amazon over eBay. You can look at the reviews and if people say it didn't power anything very long then uh, you know it's probably uh, worse than the uh, other uh, battery packs available on Amazon. Of course you have to look at all of them. Some people complain about anything and will give uh, zero stars. But uh, this has USB-C, and I think that's uh, right there. And the USB-C, the uh, USB 
here I had to plug it in the right direction into my phone apparently USB-C you can plug it in either way and it can provide more power and a bunch of other stuff so if you get a battery pack now I think a lot of stuff is going to USB-C as I said before my uh, daughter's phone uses USB-C whereas I until I bought this I had nothing that used USB-C so that's probably what you should look for these days I'm guessing so I'm not an expert on these but I do like them I think they're cool I'd like to do more testing it's kind of a lot of money I don't get a lot of views when I do them but uh, we'll see what the future brings thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video